Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are some insta-love romances. I know insta-love gets a little bit of a bad rap, I know. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea. And normally it's not mine. Normally I don't love insta-love romances, but I do in like novellas. Like with the novellas, you know what you're gonna get. They're short, quick reads. You know what you're gonna get, right? So the majority of these are novellas. I think there are a few that aren't, maybe like one or two. But yeah, these are fun insta-love, shorter books that you can pick up when you're needing a change of pace, basically. Jessica Kane's <laughs> romances are very much insta-love, okay? Uh, so first is the mobster's masseuse. Our hero basically goes in to get a massage for my heroine, and the moment that he sees her, he's decided that she is his. Like, he is absolutely obsessed with her. He's in love with her, like, the moment that he sees her. He's this big mafia boss man, and that's basically all there is to it. <laughs> like, these are short, like, insta-love, not much to it reads, but they're so hot and fun. And sometimes when I'm in like a reading slump or I'm just wanting something else, I pick one of these up and it's a great little fresh breath of air. <laughs> Another one is Mountain Man's Bride. This one's by T. Thomas. And I picked this one up because I learned that our heroine has diabetes, type one diabetes. Basically her friend puts her up as like a mail order bride online because she is struggling for money at the moment to afford her insulin. And if she marries someone and get on their insurance, like she can basically get the stuff she needs to live. The hero owns a ranch with his brothers and in his parents' will, they said that they could get like their share of the ranch when they get married. So the hero gets a mail order bride as our heroine. And from the moment that he sees her, he is smitten and wants to take care of her in every way possible. She's not the best at taking care of herself and her type one diabetes. So he's there to help her every step of the way. Like immediately he takes her to the doctor when she comes and yeah, he's very much smitten and so is she. They're both smitten with each other. My next one is Strong and Steady by Vanessa Vale. This guy's like a cowboy, but kind of not. I don't know why they categorize him as a cowboy. He just like, he's an underground fighter who, who has a cowboy hat, <laughs> basically. The hero is a type of man that we've seen many times in romance books where he's not wanting a relationship. He doesn't want to be with anyone. And then he meets a heroine and all bets are off. And things get a little bit crazy when someone is out to kill him and in turn, like the woman that he has fallen in love with very quickly. <laughs> I know these summaries are very short, but they're short books. So I'm going pretty fast with these. Another like mafia one is Big Bratva. This one's by Cassie Mint. She writes a lot of it to love romances as well. So if you want to like a marathon, a whole author, I definitely recommend Cassie Mint. This one, our hero used to be in the Bratva, but he wants to get out of that life. And his brother is very much still in it. He ends up kidnapping the daughter of, I think a governor or something and bringing her to this brother who wants to get out of the mafia, who's our heroes house and um he basically takes this woman in and the other brother thinks like oh he's gonna keep her during this kidnapping he's like no i'm gonna help her escape <laughs> and so he helps this woman escape and runs off with her and he's in love with her like the second that he lays eyes on her with like the gag in her mouth like he's like oh my gosh she's mine she's mine it's gonna happen so another casting one that i have to mention is swapped bride this one our heroine's twin sister is set to marry i think a, a prince or a very like a powerful man. It was like arranged by their families, right? And um, her sister's out doing something, partying, doing whatever, and she's missing like the engagement party. It's an arranged marriage. And so these two actually haven't met like her sister and the husband, the fiance. She pretends to be her sister during like the engagement party and everything. And they fall in love with each other like so quickly, but then the sister steps back in, you know, like the twin sister comes back and he's like, whoa, this was not the woman that I fell in love with, like right off the bat. And he wants to know what's going on. <laughs> so yeah, he doesn't know that she has a twin sister because her father's kind of like kept her a secret. If you read that, you get to figure out why she was kept a secret. This one's really fun. This is Goal by Alexandria House. My friend Kate influenced me to read this book. I'll link her channel below. But our heroine becomes the nanny to our hero's family. He just got uh, custody of his two younger half siblings and his fiance is like, I don't wanna take care of these kids. So hire a nanny and he does. And the moment that he sees her, he's like, oh no. <laughs> and it's fine because we don't like the fiance anyway because she's just a gold digger. Cause the hero is a very, very, very talented, rich hockey player. We don't mind like the emotional investment in this nanny because this woman is a gold digger. Okay. Just letting you know. There's like slight cheating in here, but it's fine. It's fine. Like things wrap up very, very quickly with him and that awful fiance. <laughs> but yeah, the moment these two see each other, they're smitten. 
smitten like kittens. <laughs> a monster romance is Mantras and Minotaurs by Ashley Bennett. So these two characters are a little older than you would typically see in a romance book. These two characters are in their 40s. They actually match on a dating app in this small monster romance town. They're both single parents to like older kids, older people they're in their 20s their kids are and from the moment they have their first date they're like oh my word you're like perfect the only issue is the hero was just visiting the small town to like visit his daughter he lives like states away in colorado which is like frick so they kind of have this long distance relationship that they just want they want it to progress so badly but it's hard when you're in a long distance relationship so yeah i really like the discussion of that in here because you don't get to really read a lot of long distance relationship romances another monster one is found by the lake monster and this one has like insta love because like the faded mate trope is kind of introduced the hero is in heat and he asks this mating agency that we've read about in other lillian lark books to basically set him up with someone so he can like go through his heat with somebody right um because he needs someone or he'll be like in excruciating pain and the heroine is actually just like exploring the woods one night and the hero bumps into her when she's like on his property and he assumes that this is the woman that was sent to him to like be with for the night but she's not but they get on anyway and they fall for each other like in a whole night like they're like it's done we're good <laughs> <laughs> my last two books are historical romances first is the chasing of eleanor vane by sarah simone this one our heroine is engaged to marry this let's just say frat boy type of historical dude right in regency time period this man would be like considered like our modern day frat boy like all he does is drink and party and hook up with ladies whatever the case may be she's not into him at all but in the engagement party that they have she ends up meeting that guy's uncle her fiance's uncle she's she's in love with him like the moment that they meet and he's in love with her and there comes a scene where she just like runs away she's like i am not marrying this douche canoe basically the uncle goes after her and they have this moment in the rain and there's a cabin nearby that they're stuck in together like ugh. It is just delicious. And my last one is actually the like only like full length book on this list. This is Devil in Disguise by Lisa Kleypas. I do recommend reading this series in order. This is the latest book in the Ravenel series. And I can't really spoil what this book is about. <laughs> I can't really, cause there's like a secret hidden identity part in here. Darn. <laughs> Our heroine like inherits her dad's like boat shipping, shipping company thing and the hero comes in in that way i can't i can't i can't talk about it i can't ruin it um it's a really good book okay if you love the ravenels and you haven't read this one yet because this was published like a few years after um book number six uh, i do recommend reading this one it kind of also intermingles the um wallflower series if you love that series as well anyways that was a short quick recommendation video because these books were shorter <laughs> so let me know down below if you read any of these books or if you plan to and what you think about like the insta love trope like I don't love insta love, but I love them when I know it's like coming. Sometimes I just want one. Sometimes I just want to read a hot, quick read where someone falls in love with someone at first sight. Like that can be fun every now and then. If you don't feel like commenting anything else, you can leave me any type of flower emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.